What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and welcome love, back to my channel. I ain't doing nothing. I just said all that to cut the intro. But anyway, I'm just sitting here during quarantine, trying my best to stay in. But I had to go out today and grab grab a couple of things. And I just want y'all to know that before y'all go out the door, if you have any anointing oil, anoint your head and pray. Lay hands on yourself before you go out to do it. God covers you from all hurt, harm, and danger, sickness, and diseases, and things that may come your way, uh, along with, uh, you know, your regular routine of hand sanitizer and all of that type of stuff. I just wanted to tell you all that because it really does work. I've been feeling fine. However, Sunday night I had um, anxiety really, really bad um, just because I had found out um, some people that are very close to me you know, had gotten sick, and um, my anxiety was high, you know, and, uh, but I just want y'all to know it, like, immediately, like, when I went into prayer, you know, um, I was good, but I was having, like, um, you know, throat pains, just, like, sharp pains in my throat, and, you know, my glands on both sides was um, sore, and I was just afraid, y'all, you know, I let fear get in, but I started reading the book of Psalms, or I have the app on my phone where I can have it, um, you know, play to me. If y'all want to know, um, it's this app right here. I'm going to play it for you. Hold on. It's the, uh, right here. Um, hold on, let me turn down the brightness. Maybe y'all can see it. Okay, and then um, I'll press. And I'll read for I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all. Play this at night, y'all, when y'all sleep. I have said. Okay. When you have anxiety and you're uh, upset or anything is bothering you or you just want to play uh, relax in peace, he said those who keep their mind stayed upon him, he keeps them in perfect peace. What is best to keep your mind stayed on the word of God? So. And build up thy throne to all generations, said I. See. And you can put it on whatever uh, chapter you want, whatever book you want, whatever chapter you want, and play that. Play that while you're laying there asleep. I mean, I play it all night. Um, I have my phone set up on the charger. And uh, I'll put the Bible app on and I doze off to sleep. And when I wake up, I hear them, you know, but I, it's getting in my spirit because I wake up like whenever, you know, you move, you wake up and you change positions in your sleep or whatever. You hear, you know, different parts of the Bible, the scriptures and stuff. And even though I'm asleep, I'm laying there like, hmm, thank you, Jesus. You know, just hear him encouraging me. So this morning when I woke up, I believe it's in Psalms 62 because I mean, I stayed woke enough just to see where that came from, where um, he had read off um, in Psalms 62. I hope it is. If not, um, it's either 63, it's in there somewhere. I have to find it. But he was saying where um, I will keep all plagues from you and how he would protect us and those that cry out to him, cry on the name of the Lord that he will keep them comforted and he will keep them covered. And I just wanted to tell you all that because a lot of things are going on right now. And I heard a lot of things are uh, like, you know, supposed to be kind of like reach this peak or whatever, whether it's going to go higher, whether it's going to go back down low. I'm just having trust in God that he's going to get us through this. Um, also, I hear that Michigan is the highest for um, numbers uh, as far as coronavirus. Um, and so you just, you know, you just want to stay safe. If I go out, it's kind of like, I, I try to do a lot of things drive through in my car. You know what I'm saying? But today, y'all, uh, I had made me some hand sanitizer because I ran out. But, uh, I had used, um, a cup of alcohol, 91% to be exact. And, um, I couldn't find the aloe vera gel, so I found cocoa butter gel. Oh, uh, well, one, not found it, but one of the sisters had bought some at the store and she gave us like four bottles of it. So I had emptied the bottles and I put um, one cup aloe vera, I mean one cup of alcohol and one cup of cocoa butter gel. And I, usually when I looked at the um, content, what, how much you're supposed to put in there, um, aloe vera gel is a half a cup and then a, a whole cup of uh, alcohol. But 
it was runny when I tried it that way because it wasn't aloe vera. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe aloe vera is a thicker gel than cocoa butter gel. So I had to um, add a cup of uh, cocoa butter gel instead of a half a cup because it was too runny and the hand sanitizer. And I left it in the car because that's where I keep it or else I would show y'all. But So a whole cup of 91% alcohol and a whole cup of cocoa butter gel or a half a cup of aloe vera gel and you mix it together and it's hand sanitizer and I keep it in the car whenever I touch anything or whatever um, I'm rubbing my hands also it helps to bring a, a, a bleach uh, spray bottle of water and bleach you know you can spray it on your steering wheel your console or whatever you know um, just being extra careful and taking precaution now I had made a, um, a mask y'all this is an idea that I had Hold on, I'll show you. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so this is what I made. A, this is a mask. Hold on, let me take some of this out of here. Now, I ain't got no mask because they ran up out of here, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about This is my headband. This headband is not your regular round, you know, thin one, but actually it's the band in the back and it's a scarf in the front type of thing. So I had put it around my head when I was going out today. Why is that bleary? Okay. And what I did was I took a paper towel. I folded it, folded the paper towel, and I put it around my face like this. And I took my headband. Hold on. It's a wrinkle. Okay. My headband. And I did it like this. So y'all, just the idea. They running out of masks and stuff. But I'm gonna say the Lord gave me this. I'm gonna say I'll give I give God all honor, glory, and praise. Because this came across my mind. And I know I don't, I don't think nothing. I don't take no credit or nothing on my own. I give all glory to God. I said, I can use my headband. And put some paper towel. And it works just fine. I can breathe good. I can talk good. And I think what makes it so good is. Is because I can wash my headband, y'all. Just change your paper towel. It's just the ideal, y'all. I'm not. I'm just different ways to keep safe and things like that. Because a sister ain't gonna be laying up in no hospital and can't breathe. The blood of Jesus. The devil is a liar. It's not gonna happen. So I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. And so, like I said, whatever you can to. Uh, and, and you know, it's one of these scarves like this, just in case you you don't know. It's like, like on a, you know, those type of scarves or whatever. I mean, uh, it's like a, almost like a scarf headband. It's wide. So when y'all go to the store, y'all know they sell these headbands. Just the ideal, y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, and how I'm doing during the quarantine. I'm doing good. Um, like I said, I had got a little anxiety or whatever. I was kind of frustrated that I was, um, had fear in me. Only because, y'all, this time of year, I have sinuses real bad. I always had sinuses. And, um, you know, it just be confused sometimes with, you know, these symptoms and stuff like that. But I know, like that my sister-in-law was telling me, she was like, know your body. That's the important part. So I know my body. It's like, as soon as I went outside of there, not been in the house, you know what I'm saying? Everything lights off, bleached sanitize I mean I keep it clean or whatever and I keep myself and my hands clean making sure the kids whenever they come up or whatever um that they go straight to the uh sink and wash their hands you know um if I don't feel like antibacteria soap is good enough I will I will run a pan of uh hot soapy dish water I mean dish water hot soapy dip with dish oh yeah dish water 
um, with bleach in it. And I'll keep that hot soapy uh, Dawn with Dawn's. It don't matter what type of uh, dish soap, but as long as you got bleach in it. And I'll keep it there. And, um, and a pan is sitting there and you could come just, you know, wash your hands in it. Or, you know, like I said, just rinse, rinse and stuff. Rinse your hands. Just keeping it, you know, clean or whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have, um, I had high anxiety on um, Sunday night. Because I was told that, you know, someone had it that was close to me and um i have them in prayer right now i know they're gonna be all right i know they're gonna be all right you know but um i have sinuses this time of year is what i'm trying to say and it's not nothing that's not normal you know what i'm saying this is normal for me so it ain't nothing unusual where i'm like tripping but it's just like you know i'm just looking down at my phone sunday night and all of a sudden, like, I just had these sharp pains to hit my, I was like, oh, no. And both of my sides of my glands were swollen and hurting. I'm like, oh, Lord, Jesus, please. So I had to hurry up and um, grab some lemons. I had some lemons from my refrigerator. And I had peeled them, and I poured a little sea salt in them. And I made a boil, and I had stood over the, you know, stove, and I kind of, like, let that breathe, you know, breathe that through my nose or whatever. Just different things. My sister-in-law told me, um... Uh, orange peels and ginger root you know just a lot of things people are telling me i appreciate it i take everything you know uh it, good advice in and stuff like that so it was just you know stuff like that i did i'm making sure to uh, make sure you drink a lot of hot stuff you know I'm, I'm drinking like a lot of um like decaf coffee and stuff like that and even with my cranberry juice or your water it don't hurt y'all you know just have a room temperature just for now you know just until this mess is over with i mean every now and then you gotta have a cold glass of something you know that's fine but not just oh you know just indulge in it and keep doing it so you just want to do stuff like that even my own um, cranberry juice you know i had it for a uh, a little thing i had going on but I even warmed that up. I had I had warmed it up in the microwave and had me, you know, just sipped on it. Like, you know, it was tea or something. Cause I'm a, I don't like tea. Tea gives me the shakes. I don't I don't like it. I never did like the taste of it, you know. And um and so those are different things that you could do, you know, as far as keeping yourself safe and keeping everyone else safe, keeping social distancing like everybody's saying. I had ideals like man, like you know, my family was telling me about this app I had downloaded. We was all on this house party app and we was talking. But it's like, it's different, you know, from what you, you know, used to seeing. And everybody like, just stay in the house and stuff like that. But then they got these different rules where it's like, uh, you can ride your bike, you can walk, you can go hiking. I'm like, is it stay in the house or is it, you know what I'm saying? Which is it, you know? So, I was like, man, you, like, you can't be around your family and friends and stuff like that. So, it started to get to you. And I was like, well, we just had this big parking lot where everybody just pull up in the cars and just sit there like a drive-in or something and just stay in their car. You know, they're starting to have church like that, too, you know, which is safe, you know. But I pray to God, y'all, that at the end of this um, thing that we're going through, that it will be, it, we're going to be victor victorious in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm telling y'all, you Y'all, them church houses better be packed, okay? Because I didn't hear so many people. Everybody that became preachers. Everybody, um, you know, uh, prophetess now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody speaking the word of God, reading the word of God, um, preaching the word of God. All I'm saying is when this is over when God brought you through, man, y'all better be front and center up in the house of the Lord. I mean, the church should be packed out like the days of old. I'm talking about hand clapping, foot stumping, service testimony service going on how god brought us over choir singing the choir should be full you know what i'm saying because you don't never miss something until it's gone they say you never miss your water until your well runs dry you know and now it's like i, I ain't miss my church i made sure i churched it i churched it we don't never go back i churched it okay church is my life that is my outing i didn't found me some revivals i didn't hit me up to church you know what i'm saying uh, people go out partying on Friday nights and stuff like that. I was always the one, uh, you know, always wanted to find a revival with something to go to or, you know, just being in the house of the Lord is just like the joy of the Lord is your strength. You know what I'm saying? And it's so true. He is so joyful and to be around the saints of God and fellowship. I mean, you get your strength from there. So everybody, a lot of people always say, well, you could just stay at home and go to church and watch it on the TV. Yeah, but it's not, it's like you're missing that fellowship with one another. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about before all this stuff was going on. But um, 
you miss your fellowship with one another. You know what I'm saying? You miss that. You miss talking to your sister, your brother. Y'all going places together. It ain't always got to be out to eat. You know, our church would go bowling and skating and stuff like that. You know, that fellowship is important. You know, you want to know that you're not the only one out here that's going through something. You're not the only one that's walking with the Lord and going through something. You know, everybody is going through. And I just thank God for the people that had emailed me. They asked me for prayer. Yes, I did call your names out. And um, I try my best to do that because I'm a servant for the Lord. I never, ever want nobody to think that they pestering me or, you know, um, they, they, I don't want to bother you. Somebody said, I don't want to bother you. You're a very important person and because of who you are. And I'm like, whoa, that puzzled me because for a person to think like that about you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular person, y'all. I'm just a servant of God. That's all I am. I'm a servant. I'm a server. That's all I am. I'm Queen Naja's mama. That's, that's, I look at my, myself, you know, I don't put myself up here, you know, I, I ain't nobody. I'm not, I'm nothing. I am nothing without God. So don't ever think that you bothering me. If you inbox me, if I got time, I will look in my DMS or my inboxes and I, I I'll gladly, you know, pray, pray with you, pray for you or whatever. I'm that type of person. God has given me the gift, um, to encourage each other to, to encourage pe encourage people and I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing while I'm here on earth so I just want to let y'all know that it's never um, a bother to me you know for different ones to reach out I'm just thankful and I'm grateful for uh, all of you um, I, I thank you um, for your support um, a lot of y'all encourage me all the time I tell y'all this all the time I love y'all love bugs and love muffins I love y'all and I thank God for you. Um, a lot of people, new subscribers, had said they hit new subby here, sub to your channel. Thank you so much for the new subscribers. Um, <clears throat> my leg falling asleep, y'all. <clears throat> I'm, I'm thankful for my new subscribers or whatever. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate the ones that have been rocking with me. And I appreciate the ones that left. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes everybody ain't for you, you know? Um... I'm just thankful for you all, and I just want y'all to know that God is with y'all. Be blessed and stay safe. Like I said, different ways to stay safe and stuff. Stay prayed up. That's the main thing. Prayer changes things. With that being said, peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.